Ever wondered how big brands of footwear industry track their sales? How do they know which products sell the most and where? If you're working in a footwear business or just love data analysis, this video is for you. Today, we'll break down a realistic footwear industry data set and uncover insights using Excel. Also, if you work in any specific sector and want me to do data analysis for your industry, let me know in the comments. I'll cover that in my next video. And don't forget to check out my playlist where I'm analyzing different sectors one by one. Hi, I'm Rashid. And on this channel, we simplify data analysis for real world industries. So let's dive right in. I put my heart and soul into making these videos for you. And I'm even sharing the data set for free in the description. But when you don't subscribe, it honestly feels discouraging. If you want me to keep creating more valuable content, please subscribe, like, and share. Your support means the world to me. We're analyzing a data set that includes date of sale, transactions from January 1st, 2022, December 31st, 2024, location details, sales from different provinces and cities, product categories, men's, women's, kids' shoes, sandals, boots, sports shoes, etc. Brands, customer demographics, sales by gender, male, female, kids, payment methods, cash, card, or online payment sales and revenue details. Each transaction has quantity sold, unit price, discount applied, tax amount, total sales revenue. Goal, we will analyze trends to improve business strategies and maximize profits. Now. Let's break down the daily sales report. Total sales, revenue per day. This shows how much money the stores made each day. Running total, cumulative sales. This metric adds up daily sales to track overall performance. It helps businesses see their progress over time. Like if you will add the sales of first seven days, its running total will be 11,378,730. Percent margin, Profitability per day. If I have percent margin of 2.60% in first day, if I have a margin of 2.60% in the first day, it means 1,323,011 is 2.60% from total sales of 53,607,435. Growth decline. Sales performance change. This column tells us how much sales have increased or decreased compared to the previous day. Positive values mean sales are increasing. Negative values means sales are declining. The growth decline column shows the difference between the sales of two consecutive days. Since day two sales, 1,650,449 are higher than day one sales, 1 million 390,024. The growth is positive, calculated as 260,425. On day 6, sales dropped, resulting in a significant decline of negative 366,140, indicating a major decline in sales. First, select column B, hit Ctrl plus 1, and set the format to date. Next, Press Ctrl plus T to convert your data into a table. Check My Table Has Headers and click OK. Rename the sheet to Sales. Then go to Table Design and rename the table to Sales 2. This keeps things organized. Now, go to Power Pivot, Add to Data Model. This loads your table into Power Pivot for advanced analytics. In the formula bar, type net sales equal to sum. Within sum, give net cash. Under formatting, choose comma style and remove decimals. Now you've got a clean sales metric. Time to build a calendar table. Go to design, date table, new. Shorten day names by removing the D in day of week. Add a day number column using day. Within day, provide date column. 
to track daily sales. Go to Home Diagram View. Drag the date field from the sales table to the calendar table to link them. This creates a one-to-many relationship. Finally, click Home, Pivot Table to generate your report. First things first, let's rename the Sheet to Day Report. This helps us keep everything organized. Go to the calendar and drag Day Number to the Rows section. Under the Sales section, drag Net Sales into Values. Now you'll see Daily Sales. Net Sales, again into Values. Right-click the second Net Sales column, Show Value as, Running Total in, Add Percentage of Grand Total, Paste Net Sales again into Values. Right-click on this new column, show value as percent of grand total. Calculate daily sales growth or decline and paste net sales again into values. Right-click this column, show value as difference from. In base item, select previous to calculate the daily difference. Rename this column to growth slash decline. Format the table column E represents percent margin. Select row two, then go to home, wrap text, and set it to center align and middle align. Select columns C to F. Right click column width set to 11. Apply conditional formatting. Select the Sales column, Home, Conditional Formatting, Data Bars, select Blue. Select the Percent Margin column, repeat the same steps. Select the Growth, Decline column, Conditional Formatting, Color Scales, choose Green to Red, Green for High Sales, Red for Low Sales. Right-click column A. Select column width, set to 84. Add slicers for easy filtering. Select any cell inside the table. Go to Insert Slicer. Choose the following slicers. Year. Set header column to 3. Month number. Set header column to 4. Brand. Set header column to 2. Gender. Set header column to 3. Payment method. Set header column to 3. Product category. Set header column to 2. Set header column to 2. Go to view. Uncheck grid lines for a cleaner look. Rename the day column header to make it more readable. If you found value in this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming episodes. See you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and keep analyzing.